we have a five star scale on look slash aesthetic, cohesion, cleanliness, and then overall. Again, we're rating aesthetic, cohesion, cleanliness, and then overall. Obviously, you know, this is what I think a five-star bathroom looks like. When it comes to the aesthetic, it looks very much like a bathroom. We have tiles everywhere. No dirt anywhere. No cockroaches, which is huge. White walls. This little toilet nook only adds to the, the cleanliness of the place. None of the germs are spreading around. Plus a bidet, which is huge. Although this looks like a Japanese toilet, so it probably has a bidet built in. So maybe that's an L for me, but automatic plunger, toilet brush, which should probably be go in the corner, but nothing we can do about that. Nope. Cockroaches are not bathrooms, best friends. We hate that for us. Our towels, looking clean, looking fresh. Wow. Our little bathtub corner on this side looks cozy. Looks like it's used, which is huge. We don't have too many things. Okay, kind of cluttering up the place, which is great for a bathroom. Shouldn't be too cluttered. One plant in the corner. Massive W. And then, of course, a shower as well. So look. Five stars. Cohesion. Five stars. This is a bathroom that you could see in a hotel. Maybe even a hotel suite. 10 out of 10, five stars. Cleanliness, obviously, it's looking good. No spider webs anywhere. No cockroaches anywhere. Wow, this place is clean. So overall, five stars. This is the perfect bathroom. Whether or not it's mine is irrelevant. Is this tile or carpet? If this is tile, it's it's fine, it's good. But if this is carpet, and it's a little unclear, I actually think this is carpet, horrible. They have a vacuum here, horrible. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about what they got going on here. Big medicine cabinet, that's nice. That's not bad. Towels above the sink, makes sense. They have their mirror to the side here, that's fine. Good to have your clothes in the bathroom, I suppose. A little radio on top. Then we have this corner, and things start to get a little, a little funky. Why do you just have a tin bucket? This isn't a washing bucket. This is an outdoor tin bucket. For what? For why? These are not inside pipes. Absolutely not. There's nothing wrong with a little decoration. I probably wouldn't put anything above the toilet like this. What if there's an earthquake? This is an outdoor bin. And then I'm assuming they're using the tissues to be like toilet paper on the floor. Hard no. Looks bad. But their walls, clean. Nothing wrong with the clock. But their colors are all mismatched. Their floor is not good. They have outside objects inside. On the look. Two stars out of five. Cohesion. This is a bathroom. They have a tub. They have a sink. They have a mirror. They even have a little bit of a laundry area-ish. Iron, like, I don't know. It seems like they're getting dressed here. It's a good place to iron your shirts. That's fine. And then they kind of tried. With their toilet. I would hate to have a toilet right next to the door here. I think that would be weird. I'm gonna say two stars. There's some things that just don't make sense to me that just don't belong here. 
Maybe I'm a bit of a tough critic, who's to say? Cleanliness, I'm assuming this is carpet. You cannot have carpet in your bathroom. A small rug, bath mat, sure. Carpet, hard no. Cleanliness is a one. One star, at best. So overall, this bathroom is just pushing two stars. It's not great. It is not great. Oh. Oh. I've never even seen this item before. The, uh, like the sauna rocks. Okay. Okay. All right. The toilet, a little boring and right next to the door, but that's fine. Not a big deal. They have the plunger and toilet paper set. Huge plus. Massive plus. The sauna rocks are a little strange to me, if I'm being honest. But not a huge deal, I think, when it comes to looks anyways. We love the jacuzzi tub. That seems convenient. And we can take the cloud bath or cloud rug as like a bath mat. I kind of see the vision. We're not going to be judging that too hard. The brown towels. I love this. And it'd be convenient to have the TV. Walker, what are you suing me over? The only thing that's a little weird. The shower on the wall here. Right on the carpet. A little strange, no? Must be nice showering. You know, it is for sure. So... When it comes to the looks and aesthetic of this bathroom, I'd say four stars. I think the shower head is in a weird place. I think these sauna rocks a little bit strange to me. I really like this half of the room with the relaxing bathtub and then like the TV up top. That must be nice. Cohesion. Again, these feel a little out of place. So I'm going to say four stars. And then cleanliness, once again, it all comes back to the shower head. This going right onto the carpet, that's just asking for mold. So overall, four stars. Good bathroom. Not bad at all. Okay. I think we found the bathroom. This is actually a huge thing for me. I love a privacy screen. This is massive points. Privacy screen is huge, huge points. I'd say aesthetically, it's pretty good. Having the drawers is actually nice. A full length mirror, it's good. She's got plant life, which is good. This is a nice bathroom. I think having a bath mat on this side too, quite nice. Wood floors and not carpet is great. Aesthetics are five stars cohesion she's got the toilet she's got a bathtub and shower in one first one to do that actually towels are convenient sink is convenient a full length mirror has some amenities we love a bath mat cohesion is five stars this is looking good the cleanliness i mean it's, i'd say it's pretty easy to keep this place clean it's not bad. Wood floor is good. White walls looks nice. I don't think you'd be coming all the way over here while still wet. I guess it's possible. Honestly, I think this is a five star bathroom. The first bathroom that's not mine to be reaching five stars. Incredible. Incredible. Oh. It, it is like the bathroom of an arcade. Okay, wait, this is actually really fun. Because this is supposed to be a public restroom. So this is neat. This is really neat. So looks wise, it looks like a public restroom. She did a great job. This is awesome. <laughs> it looks nasty and dirty. Like, you know, there's like the graffiti on the walls. There's some nasty stuff. There should be like maybe a pile of like something over here. I don't know. Some of this extra stuff over here. Having a manhole cover is a little weird, but I'm sure that, like, that's the choice that needed to be made. I'd say, considering it's a public restroom, it's good. The two urinals is smart. 
This... I would never, I would never poo here. <laughs> That's way too exposed. But like, this is, this is all really cool. I mean, this is definitely like the compact bathroom sink thing, but so it has like the toothbrushes. We can't, we can't really dock points for that because there's no, no way that you can control that. I think that these are a good item to use for this. So five on the look. Five on the cohesion, considering it's a public restroom. Zero on cleanliness. This place is a mess. Disgusting. Cockroach here. Centipede here. Walls absolutely covered. Place is disgusting. But, hey, five stars on aesthetic and cohesion pretty good i think that what averages out to a three and a half star bathroom oh so this is definitely their bathroom right or maybe it's a plant room no it's their bathroom it's their bathroom they have a sink here and a shower head on the wall up here but this is this is nice that's a fun one this might be five out of five but definitely not they're on the right track though all right first Let's start with the look. It's bright. We love a bright bathroom. I have a skylight in my bathroom. It's always feeling good. We love plants. Clearly, I have a soft spot for them. And that looks nice. And they even have like this daisy shower head. Chef's kiss. There's like this pink and green theme here. It's bright. That's, that's what we care about here. We like the brightness of it. Some people, too, they just don't care. I'm a fan of that. I'm going to say, aesthetically, looks five stars. This is a nice looking bathroom. Now, cohesion. Once again, we're, we're losing some points here. What is this? What is this? Right above the incense that are just on the floor. And then... As we look around, there's no actual toilet. What do they expect you to do? They just have a bath. It is literally a bathroom with a sink. It's tough. I mean, you're missing the most important parts of a bathroom. I'm giving it one out of five stars. It's not good. Not good. Cleanliness, also a mess. They just have a pile of petals on the floor here. What? Their drink on the floor. This, I don't know, I don't know. But other than that, it's pretty clean. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like it could be too messy. Four out of five stars. So overall, this bathroom, it's like a three and a half out of five stars. If it had a toilet, it'd probably be perfect. But not having a toilet makes it just really, really tough. It's not cohesive for a bathroom. It needs to, the aesthetic needs to blend with the importance of bathroom objects. They have a shower on one wall that's just right on the floor and no place to poo. <laughs> I've been staying at this bathroom for a long time. I already know I love it. It looks incredible. Incredible. I can't read. Okay. First, this is the first bathroom we've seen that has two sinks, a his and hers type of deal here, which I think is cool. That's fun. But there's also a little step stool here, which is also very convenient. Could be for a child. We don't know, but very smart. Then there's a lot of black and white here, which makes it nice. They have their shower and bath kind of closed off behind this for privacy and you also know it's a bubble bath because these guys are blowing bubbles then they have their washing machine and dryer corner over here i think aesthetically looks wise this bathroom is five out of five stars cohesion it's got the shower and bathtub back here 
a little private, which is great. It has the sink and mirrors. It has washer dryer and a toilet. Five out of five stars. Cleanliness, this place is perfect, immaculate. Five out of five. So overall, this bathroom, five out of five. And our second five out of five of the day. Wow. All right, having this little makeup table, this goes crazy, if I'm being honest. They have bottles up there, which I had always used as food, but I guess they're using as shampoo and product, which is awesome. They keep their washing machine and dryer in the bathroom. Fair enough. I think the sink right next to the tub and then the towels getting steamed on by the tub. Not great. They could have done a better job with this. Little weird. What can you do? Of course, the one plant in the corner ish is awesome. We love that. They also have the automatic toilet. But theirs is not in a toilet corner that's boxed in. Little weird. This is just kind of getting everywhere. Then up on the wall, they have a dress. It's a little too high to see. It's a little weird. No. I mean, the fan is fine. Who knows? The skull radio. I remember this being a big item back in the past. If they want to use it, it's okay. And then these towels also getting humidified. A little weird. And then the skeleton and muzzle. They just don't really fit the vibe at all. So aesthetically... It seems like they were initially trying to go for this all black bathroom and they were on the right track. But then they added these pink items and blue items. And then this skeleton and muscle person. They're getting two stars on the aesthetic. Sorry. They have some nice things here. But it just doesn't quite do it for me. And then because of that, it's not that cohesive. Why would you want your towels to get wet with steam? Use those to stay warm. Toilet in the corner here, sink here. Just doesn't make sense to me. Show me a bathroom where the sink isn't near the door. Why is the toilet close to the door? It doesn't make sense. Once again, these two guys really throwing me off. They're getting three stars on cohesion. Cleanliness, it is clean. Possibly a little mildewy because the towels are constantly getting wet. And then having a shag rug, which is fine in a bathroom sometimes. But how often do they clean it? We don't know. There could be mold growing underneath this. It's impossible for us to tell. But overall, it seems fine. We're going to give them four stars on cleanliness. So for the aesthetic, they have two stars. Cohesion, they have three stars. In cleanliness, they have four stars, averaging out their overall to a three-star bathroom. I'm going to rate the final bathroom. Yes, technically I made it, so it's likely that it's five stars out of five stars. I mean, aesthetically, it doesn't get any better than this. There's plants everywhere. It's got a lion's head. It looks good. We've got things. Have you been to El Peak? I haven't. Is that good? I'm so curious. We have a gold toilet that's shining. Wow. We love the plant life. I might be biased, but the look of this bathroom, five stars out of five. Cohesion. We have multiple washing spaces, shower, bathtub. Well, that's really it. But we have a sink. We have a sink. We have multiple toilets and bidets. The whoa, 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 whoa. The wall of the mirror is touching the window. <gasps> okay, well, look, there's nothing we can do about that. If you look at it from this, if you look at it from right here, it looks fine. It's got all the things a bathroom needs. Five stars. And then this is probably as clean as it gets, although I will say, anytime there's a shag rung in the bathroom, it's a little off-putting. 
but you can see that he has a mop and bucket there, so he probably keeps it clean. We'll give it four out of five stars. Surprisingly, that makes this not a five star bathroom, but 4.7, 4.8, not bad, not bad.